such a fun. Yeah. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. It's basically this. Repeat, 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 all while dealing with this. Stop it, stop. All right, well, Julia and I are now at the community aid. We are starting. And in. this is my turtle. I oh, got at this shop. That's the turtle she got in the last video because we've started a new video. Same day, new video. She's very excited. Um, the last time we were here, she got an enormous teddy bear. That was a, like a year ago, but she still remembers it. Um, so today we are. And we're going to get it. She's hoping they have another enormous teddy bear here, but the odds are slim. But we're going to look anyway. You never know, right, sis? Yay! Yay! Oh, so much fun. Yay! So, um, let's go see what we can find, sis. Yay! Excitement. <laughs> All right, Yay. here we go. All right, well, you guys mentioned the jewelry jars the last time I was here, and then I needed to take a closer look. They're $25. Now, um, I did notice two pieces in here that are clearly marked 925 from shaking the jar for about five minutes. Um, I noticed one of these charm bracelets in here the links but there is a really cool piece of it's a brooch that marks yeah yeah um that's marked 925 and I don't know if I can get it to flip again um but let's see right there so I think we're gonna do it Well, I told myself that I was going to wait until I got home to open this, but I don't think that I can wait that long to get that one piece of jewelry out that I spotted that made me buy this stupid jewelry jar. So, that being said, <laughs> we'll just pull out that one piece and then the rest of it will be like, you know, you know what I'm saying? G-H-R, I don't even know what that means. Ooh, that piece looks good too, what is that? I don't know, we're, we're only after the one piece. We'll go through the rest of it when we get home, but, where is that silver piece? I noticed a couple of silver pieces in here, but there was one that, that's junk. There was one that like really caught my eye. I think it kind of made its way to the bottom there. Let's see here. The good thing about doing this at home is I could just dump it, you know? There it is. That is the piece. That's the piece right there. That's the whole reason I bought this whole jar was that one. I bought the jar for that right there. <laughs> I hope it is worth it. But it looks almost like reverse painted with this like uh, iridescent sky. I really, really like it. I like it a lot. That's a really cool piece of jewelry. I'm gonna set this one aside. And then I'm gonna put the rest of it back in there. I did notice that the this earring is sterling. I noticed that as I was flipping the jar around. Um, so I'll sort that out right now before I put everything else back. Um, this thing looks like junk. What is that marked? Infused with energy technology. This bracelet gives you energy. I don't think that is accurate. I think that's a bunch of hocus pocus right there. More hocus pocus. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, nothing else is really like jumping out at me. I'll have to spend some more time looking at it. This is junk jewelry. It's junk. Yes, Juliet. No way. Sis. And this mommy has the, the diaper into this. It matches. 
More junk. All right. Well, I, you know what? I guess we'll go through the rest of this when we get home. All right. Well, Juliet is inside watching a show on the TV, and it's super loud. So I decided to step outside. It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna go over some of the pieces that I did pull out of the jewelry jar. A lot of it is modern fashion jewelry. But we're gonna go over a couple of the pieces that really caught my eye. Um, and one in particular that you guys did see me go through the jewelry jar for, the one that made me buy the jar to begin with. So, these are the pieces that I think I'm gonna recoup my money on and hopefully make a little bit more. Um, I did originally cast these aside, but, by the way, these are the tomatoes Juliet picked from the garden, clearly. It was a little too soon. Um, anyway, um, these are the ones I picked. So these ones are actually marked, and some of you probably really already know your jewelry, but I decided to go over this anyway. Um, these ones are marked Alex and Annie. Now, these pieces are not like the most valuable of their collection. Um, the most valuable of their collection are the Harry Potter ones. I'll put those listings up. Um, these ones, this one sells for about $15. Okay, sold listings, not asking price. I don't know what the asking. I don't look at asking prices. I looked at I look at sold listings only because I don't care what people are asking. Um, it's only worth what people are paying for it. <laughs> A lot of people are commenting on my videos. Oh, you missed this. It's worth this much. Well, no, it's not worth that much. That is what people are asking for it on eBay. It's worth what people are paying for it. Get that out there, okay? This one sells for about 15. I'm gonna ask like, I don't know, like eight, maybe 10, because I just wanna sell it. Um, this one, I think was like eight, so five. Um, again, five bucks, I don't know. Um, this one has a lotus, this one has a, a lion, it's like a Leo, um, but it's this Alex and Annie brand. I don't know. Um, this one, these angels, they are marked with a T with a circle around them. That is tax coat, I guess. I did research these. Um, and that is Mexico. They are marked 925. So they are silver and they sell for like $12.95. So there's like 10 bucks there. Um, and this piece right here, this is the piece I told you convinced me to buy the jar while I was like sitting there turning it repeatedly for like five minutes. This piece right here is sterling silver. It is marked on the back. It says sterling. Um, it's got this kind of iridescence to it. Now some of you probably already knew this and I'm telling you something you already know, but that iridescence is actually a butterfly wing. Um, they actually used a butterfly's wing to make that iridescence. Um, and I believe the rest of it may be reverse painted. It strikes me as a reverse painted piece because I come across those paintings a lot. Oh no, she's coming. Yes, Julia? I righted a heart. Why did they not come inside? You righted me a heart? No, I, I, I just did it with your thing. Oh, okay. I'll be right there to come see it. I just snapped it and then... Oh, I'll come look at it in a second, okay? Um, so anyway, this was made with a butterfly wing. Um, I think there's some reverse painting going on there. It is Art Deco. Um, there's a 2-3 on the back, and I believe that is 1923. Because why not 1923? I don't even know if you can see. Ah, there we go. So I've seen them sell as high as $100 on eBay. Um, and I've seen them sell as low as $30. I couldn't really pick up any trends that would set them apart as to why they would sell at a high of 100 and a low of 30. Um, I think the ones that sold for higher were a little bit more detailed and a little bit more artistic. Uh, the ones that sold for low were like palm trees and, and a little bit um, simpler. So um, this one I would say is a little bit more artistic. It looks like a Dutch scene with the windmills in the background and the man and woman staring off into the distance. Uh, so hopefully uh, we get some money money for that. So anyway, my first jewelry jar experience. I hope I did all right. I guess we will find out. I probably um, could have done a lot better. That was, I don't know. I don't know, you guys tell me. Um, and maybe we'll do it again in the future. But 
There we go. Marmaduke, what are you doing? Psst, Marmaduke. Dookie, what are you doing? This is my dog, Marmaduke. Some of you know him from Relic Recovery's channel. Oh, you just slobbed me, didn't you? Oh, good job. Good job. We love hound dogs, don't we? Yes, we do. Yeah. He's a good dog. He's a rescue dog, and he's a good dog. Aren't ya? <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. I know it was a little bit different pace. It was kind of a little bit different than our normal videos. Um, but we bought a jewelry jar, and that was fun. And um, we got to pick that apart. So I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll be back from Europe soon. And uh, we'll be back with Sue and doing some fun videos. And, uh, yeah. All right. I will catch you next time. I hope you enjoyed this installment of Crazy Lamp Lady, and if you happen to spot something that you just can't live without, I've put a link to her Etsy store down in the description.